Hey guys, Jack here with another video. The first thing I want to introduce, which is a bit exciting, and you've probably noticed that the background behind me is a bit different, and that's because we have now got a better space to do our VR stuff. Look how much space we have, it's amazing. Um, yeah, we've got a huge area now to try VR. We've probably got enough to almost have two really good room scale size multiplayer games going on at the same time, which we're definitely gonna try. Um, and this is in preparation as well for the Vive Pro, um, which is gonna be a maximum space of 10 by 10, which even this room is still smaller than that, but we're gonna have at least, I think almost like a five by five play area, which is pretty amazing. Um, so we're looking forward to that. The walls are gonna be covered. We're just waiting for some crash mats. So uh, if you punch the wall, you're not gonna break your hand or the controller, win-win really. Um, so we're pretty excited with that. We should get a lot of that done today when we're doing this video. So we'll have some more to show you with that when it's completely finished. But we just wanted to give you an update with that now. Now back to what we originally had planned for this video, which is we were going to look at the Vive Focus Chinese contact. However, we have just been trying to find an easier way to actually pay for the, the content. Instead, we had a few comments uh, from our previous videos that they would actually like a more detailed comparison of the Vive Focus compared to the Gear VR as they're both standalone headsets, let's say. So, these are the two headsets that we're looking at. If you've come for this review or comparison, then you probably know what these two look like, especially this one if you've watched our other two videos, as that's all it's been about. Um, and to start with, look at the price. So the Gear VR is 120 quid. Uh, it's obviously compatible with a number of Samsung phones. If you don't have a Samsung phone, then you would either have to buy one to use it with this. I think there's a workaround for other phones, but I don't know how that works and how reliable it is. And this is around 450 to 500 quid when you take into account the conversion rate. So all in all, probably about like for like price comparison as a whole. Most people have smartphones, so you wouldn't have to specifically go out and buy one for this. Um, but if you didn't, you probably would. As for the display resolution, for the Gear VR, this massively depends on the phone that you're using. I have a Samsung S8, which has a screen resolution of 2960 by 1440, but that's probably not exactly what you'll get because obviously when you're in VR, it minimizes the screen to the, the lenses that you normally see. Um, I don't exactly know what this resolution will be, but it's gonna be less than the quoted screen resolution. Whereas the Vive Focus is 2880 by 1600, and that's the actual resolution you will be seeing. They both provide a similar field of view. The Gear VR gives you around 96 degrees, that will vary per phone, and then the Vive Focus is 110 as per the other Vive headsets. Lastly, some information on the actual weight and dimensions of the two headsets. The Gear VR weighs around 500 grams with a Samsung S8 inside, and the Vive Focus is around 680, so slightly heavier. The dimensions for the Gear VR can be found on their website. We couldn't find much online about the Vive Focus, so we simply measured it ourselves. Now moving on to the general use of the headset, starting with comfort, we actually think both of the headsets do really well. Um, we don't have any major complaints. With regards to the lying down, the Vive Focus is actually a bit more comfy because it leaves the very back of your head clear, so you don't have anything digging into it. And where the strap sits almost acts as a, a bit of a support cushion when you're lying down, whereas the Gear VR, the back strap does dig into the back of your head a bit. This leads on to how well they both keep out light. As we generally find with any headset, the more comfy the fit on your face, the better they are at keeping the light out. Um, and both of them do really well. We found it a bit trickier to get the Vive Focus to sit right, but once we figured out where it was best to put all the straps, the light leaking was, was no problem. Next up is the interface usage. Now Gear VR has the added benefit of being able to navigate through Oculus Home on your phone before you put the headset on, whereas everything has to be done inside the headset with the Vive Focus. We only found this annoying when you're trying to show somebody how to use the headset. This can be mitigated by the fact that they both support mirror casting to your TV. So providing you've got something like Google Chromecast, Amazon Fire, Smart TV, uh, that shouldn't be an issue as then people can simply see what you're seeing. And to be honest, it's something we would probably recommend, especially when using any sort of VR headset in groups, 
um, as it's much more sociable and entertaining. Both interfaces are pretty easy to navigate, so there's no massive problems with either one. Now the last big point to compare is head tracking, and I think that's really what sets these two headsets apart, in that Gear VR is far more suited, I think, to viewing videos, films, you know, watching media. Uh, games are okay, but still, you can only point and click and turn your head. You can't do much more than that. Whereas the Vive Focus, obviously you can move around in a either two by two meter space if you want the chaperone turned on, or you can disable that. And as we've shown, you've got unlimited play area. Now, one of the weaknesses of Gear VR is that they're not all in one. They're not an inclusive headset. Whereas the Vive Focus and hopefully the other standalone headsets that are gonna be coming out, it is literally put it on your head and you're good to go. So as a quick comparison, we're gonna see who it takes longer to get going on our respective headsets. And go. Thing. Oh no, I failed. No. All right, no. I'm in, I'm in Fruit Ninja. <laughs> what? No. Okay, I'm in the store. Hey. I'm in the store. <laughs> yes, it's starting. Come on. Okay, I'm in. All right. I'm in. Okay. Yes, I made it. So yeah, that's how long it took uh, to get these going. <laughs> it's a bit more depressing when you've got to wait for your phone to turn on. Probably not you know, 100% realistic as not many people go around with their phones turned off. So that was the last little fun test that we did on the two headsets to see how easy it was to get them both going. The Vive Focus is the clear winner. Samsung doesn't take very long still, but you can just see that the standalone headset is the natural evolution of what the Gear VR was supposed to, supposed to do. Um, you know, it's all in one, you put it on and you play, no fucking around. And it'll be really interesting to see what the other standalone headsets are. So we've got Oculus Go that should be in the next few months, the Pico Neo coming out this year as well, and the, the mysterious Santa Cruz, but we'll see what happens with that. There's not much information out there. Um, but our overall conclusion, they're still both good. You know, the Gear VR is just over two years old now, so it's had a bit of time to be out there. The Vive Focus is the first of this standalone generation, so it should just keep getting better. And that's that's definitely where the focus should be because it's just all good to go. You pop it on and you play. So guys, I hope you liked that video and that you found it informative. We probably haven't answered every question that you wanted answered, but do drop us a comment below if you want to find out anything else. Otherwise, please remember to subscribe. Thank you.